economy is flatlining. We have uh, business confidence at the lowest levels I've known for, for literally for decades, the beginning of a brain drain, and a lot of think tanks suggesting that we're losing several percentage points of our GDP every year as a direct result of Brexit. AstraZeneca is not going to set up in the United Kingdom. It's going to set up in Ireland. The problem is there is a general sense of disappointment in the country about Brexit. How? But it's certainly gone with Michael Gove. And final thought on all of this. There are many that will say, given what's happening in Ukraine right at the moment, given worries over Taiwan, that actually what was discussed at Ditch do makes sense, that maybe we should have closer military cooperation with the EU. The reality of Brexit was it was just a bunch of complete and total lies. Eddie was lied to uh, at, on, the, on the sort of free market right, and people on the left were lied to. The only way that the Brexit put forward by Boris Johnson was going to work was if there was a complete deregulation of the UK and we moved to a sort of Liz Truss utopia of a Singapore state. And that was just never going to happen. The British population was never going to accept a state which the N NHS would be demolished, uh, where free education would be severely limited, where regulation with regard to employment um, would be thrown apart. It was just complete and total, absolute lies. And the biggest issue about it, and you know, you can take the Brexit bus as a good example, is the lies that Boris Johnson and the Conservative Party told the public about helping the NHS. Effectively, all they did was throw the country Guy. and the NHS under, under the bus. Managing our own country, well, what we, is. What we're, I mean, we're very good at mismanaging. <laughs> if Brexit is a disaster, I will go and live abroad. I'll go and live somewhere else. But It's obvious that Brexit is a disaster, and it's obvious who the liars are. And it is only a question of time until Britain faces reality and gets back into the single market to ensure that we get growth and prosperity back and we can fund our public services.